Jacqueline. Thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing, giving you a demo, some comparisons of the brand new Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Mini Palette. But before we get it started, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos. And now if you're interested to know more about this little friend from Natasha Denona, just keep on watching. So a couple days ago, I went ahead and ordered this new Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow palette from the Sephora website. The price on this little palette is $19. Now when you take it out of the box, um, this is the beautiful mini, <laughs> look at that, is that so cute or what? It's a little mini um, duo with a bronzer and a highlighter. Now. This is very interesting. Natasha Denona, they are not promoting it as a bronzer. And if you go to like Sephora website and read about the product, it's it states that this is actually a bronze blush. So it's not a bronzer, but to me, it acted like a bronzer. So now just let me show you how I apply these products on my face. So I'm going to start by priming my face with this Cover FX Gripping Primer. This this one right here. And this actually leaves you with a really beautiful glassy skin-like um, base for your foundation. So I'm just going to use a very little amount, like that much right there, that much. And you just need to first kind of like rub it in between your fingers because otherwise it's a little bit too sticky. I mean, it's going to be tacky and sticky no matter what. That's why it's called a gripping primer. Um, but by warming up with your tip of your fingers, it will be a little bit easier to apply. Now, it feels like actual glue, <laughs> to be honest. A little bit more water. Sorry, I live very close by the airport. <laughs> why do I have to say sorry? Well, I live by the airport. What should I do? Hmm. I'm gonna put here on the cards my review on the Foundation X Plus. Um, this is a full coverage of foundation by Natasha Denona. The color was really orange. So this time I went ahead and exchanged it for um, the shade 40N, which is a light medium. And now it says beige rose. And it says also they have a neutral undertone. So now on that, the shade that I got, it was also a neutral one, but this one right here seemed to be a little bit more neutral and not orange. So hopefully it works. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with a beauty blender. Yeah, okay, so now what this right here is actually neutral in comparison with the other one that I got the last time. It may have a little bit of a great, great tint to it. Um, which I'm not too scared of. This may work better on olive skin too. But at least this is actually neutral and not like the previous shade that I um, got on that review. It was literally orange. So this foundation is supposed to be full coverage. I'm not going to build it up to full coverage. It's just not what I like to do. Foundations, I like to keep it between light or at least true medium on my application. And this foundation has um, kind of like a radiant finish to it. Not super glowy, but radiant. That looks good right there. Now, I had another review of this Natasha Denona Transfix um, Concealer. Now, I wanted to give it another try to this concealer um, to see how it will work, kind of like under the foundation. Since it's from the same brand, I know that you're not gonna want to be like, oh, okay, to be in order for the concealer to work on my skin, it, I will have to use it with this foundation from the brand. I know that's that's not how concealers or any product should work, but I just wanted to give it another second chance 
before I truly decide whether I keep it or if should I just even maybe see if I could return it. It's thing on upon application, but it actually dries super fast. So it's a little bit hard to blend. So anyhow, I'm gonna just see how I will blend right now. And the last time what I did is, I always do the same thing. I go ahead and I do one application and then I start to, you know, build on the application a little more. And that's the way that I apply my concealer. And the last time, I'm gonna put it right here in the course. You will see on my review, I had some trouble um, building up this concealer. So I'm finding the same problem as last time. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I trust a lot on my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish uh, Setting Powder. And I use it in the shade two medium. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes. The concealer is definitely not my favorite to be honest. Now the foundation, I will tell you, this color shade, it actually works really, really well with my skin. And it actually, I have a very radiant, nice skin-like look right now. So I'm happy about that because I was really sad when I was trying the, the foundation for the first time and it was just so orange. And the funny thing is it was a neutral color and it's like, why it's so orange and yet label it as a neutral undertone, so anyhow. Okay, I think this is it, what I'm gonna do with this concealer. Honestly, I, I will say, you know, this is my second time using it. I will pass on it, to be honest with you. I will, if I was you, I will not purchase it. It looks even a little bit chalky. I don't know, it's just not good. And now for the start of the show. So I got this uh, Natasha Denona Bronze Glow Palette, and it's just so cute. This is another mini version for Natasha Denona. This new duo, it says that it's a bronze and glow, but it is actually marked as a blush. I think you actually can wear it as a bronzer and then you have the highlighter. Now this little friend is made in Italy and it actually comes with a mirror which I really appreciate from Natasha Denona doing these having a mirror on the mini palettes too. I think that's super good and super you know just so thoughtful because it makes it a lot easier to travel or just put it in your purse and that's it. She has another two mini palettes. Both of them are actually blushes where we will consider blush. One is kind of like a coral color and the other one it's kind of like a pink color and they both have a highlighter to go with it. And again, this one right here is promoted as a blush. Now let's go into the application. Um, now I was watching Natasha Denona and she said to use it, you know, as I just mentioned, as a blush and then take it up to the temple of your face. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using this Morphe brush right here. It's a blush brush. And I'm just gonna grab some of the powder. I'm just gonna start on the apples of the cheeks and just take it up to my temple. Now it blends super well. It's not grabbing on the foundation. I mean, I had set it already with some powder, but it's just blending really, really well. Now for your view, my brush fits in there fairly well. You know, I just have to be cautious. I don't think like a larger brush than these will really work because it will be just a little too large for the pan size. Okay, this bronzer has to me a little bit of kind of like a pinkish undertone and that's where that blush idea comes into place. Now I'm gonna apply the highlighter. Now this highlighter, it's dark to my complexion. It's a very like 
a darker champagne color I mean it's very very pretty but it's it's dark now this will look really beautiful on people that have um, a darker complexion yeah to me this color is more like a like if I do a bronzer topper type of thing and actually it actually has some glitter particles they're finely meal but you I mean I can still see them it, it's pretty there you go okay, and I'm gonna use that on the tip of my nose just as usual on the breech of my nose This highlighter has a wet and glowy finish to the skin. It just goes so, so well. So pretty. So now I'm gonna do my eye look off camera and then I will come back and give you a little bit of comparisons with other bronzers and final thoughts. So I just finished off my makeup. I finished my eye look off camera because I'm doing a review for an eyeshadow palette. So you will see that in, a, in just a few days. But anyhow, going back to this Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Palette, um, let me just compare to you because again, this shade right here, the bronze shade is actually being promoted and marketed as a blush. I just did some swatches and here is the Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze. This one is the Bronze from the Duo palette of Natasha Denona and this one right here is the Hula Bronzer. Now, um, this is just the regular Hula, the original one. So as you can tell, the Natasha Denona one has a lot more red in it than the other two. The other two bronzers, they are not cool tone, but yet um, they are more into the brown side. Um, this, this one right here has a lot more red in it. Hence, I think that's why Natasha Denona is promoting it more as a blush and not as a true bronzer. I'm just gonna put a picture up here of the Natasha Denona, one of the big palettes. It already has um, the glow stream, so if you have that particular big palette, you already have this shade with that. This is one of my very favorite highlighters. This is the Natasha Denona Super Glow. And this is in the shade One Fair. Now, let me just compare to you on size. So as you can tell, this one is way, way smaller. This right here comes with 10 grams of product and this right here is four grams of product. So in each palette, you most likely get about two grams of product. Um, now, if I'm gonna compare really quick um, this highlighter, again, this is the shade One Fair and this is the shade Glow Stream from the mini palette. So again, very potent type of highlighters. This is more lighter base and this has more of a golden base. For my final thoughts here, I think this palette, it's worth the price. Also a great travel size palette. It includes the mirror. It's really nice and it's another option instead to buy the large palettes, the large face palettes from Natasha Denona. Application went very smooth. They are a little bit on the creamy side, so I really like that. So it was super, super easy to blend. As far as uh, a brush, as you saw in my application, you can use a smaller brush. The one that you use is this one from Morphe. This is a blush brush, and it actually fit really well, so I didn't have any problems. Um, blendability, it blended really, really nicely. So I think this could add to your collection. It's a good purchase. I enjoyed it. I like it although it's not a true bronzer it acted like a bronzer so I don't know if you can tell maybe you can leave your opinions down below and let me know how it looks on your end if it really looks like a bronzer or not or if it looks too too red to me in person it looks really nice and that's the wrap my friends I hope you really enjoyed this video if you like this type of video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below. I love to know what you think about the products that I'm reviewing, if you will be buying it or not, if you have purchased it, if you like it, dislike it, etc. Let's start a conversation down there. Thank you so much for your support. Until the next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.